hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have discussed about the amplitude scaling operation on signal so in this video we are going to uh, discuss uh, another operation which is amplitude scaling but it has a different kind of effect on the signal okay it is amplitude scaling but uh, it is a little bit different concept so we'll be discussing about amplitude inversion okay so what this amplitude inversion basically is so we have discussed amplitude scaling where we create a new signal yt by multiplying the reference signal or original signal xt with a scaling factor a when a is greater than 1 amplification happens when a is lesser than 1 attenuation happens suppose a is equal to minus 1 then amplitude inversion happens okay amplitude inversion so let us try to understand this let us say uh, we have to we have a signal okay signal at different points 1 2 4 and the signal is uh, something like this 1 2 3 ok this is the signal so here x0 is equal to 0, x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 2, x3 is equal to 2 and x4 is equal to 0. So if we have to perform amplitude inversion, it means it will be yt equal to minus xt. So what it means, the amplitudes at different values, different instants of time, it will be negative of the reference signal values, amplitudes at the same instant. Y0 will be minus x0, y1 will be minus x1, y2 will be minus x2 and so on. So it will just be the negative of that. So it is similar to the time reversal but here what is happening is that the reversal is happening around the horizontal axis the time axis the x axis so we are folding the signal around the horizontal axis so the time uh, the amplitude inverted signal it will look something like this like this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So, at 1 it will be negative of minus x2 which will be minus 2. Here it is 2, here it will be minus 2. At 2 also here it is 2, so it will be minus 2. 3 it will be minus 2. So, like this. Okay, mirror image of the original or reference signal, this is yt equal to minus xt. So, it will be the mirror image of the same signal but around the horizontal x-axis. Okay, so it will be the same. So, it is very similar to time reversal. In time reversal, the resultant signal is the mirror image with the vertical axis. 
the, uh, the uh, y axis here the resultant signal is a mirror image of the original signal around the x axis the horizontal axis here it was the vertical axis time reversal here amplitude inversion the horizontal axis so this is the amplitude inverted signal similarly uh, for the basic test signals the unit step signal let's say we have the unit step signal like this ut which is 1 for different values of t so the amplitude inverted signal it will be minus 1 we have the ramp signal RT equals to T like this. The amplitude inverted signal it will be like this. Okay, <clears throat> RT equals to minus T because it is minus of negative of that it is happening. So, this is basically the whole concept of amplitude inversion mirror image with respect to the horizontal x axis. Okay, so this is amplitude inversion here we have uh, another signal which we have to perform amplitude inversion a basic random signal so as i said in amplitude inversion the mirror image is formed with respect to the horizontal axis so in this case the time axis the x axis so let us draw the amplitude inverted signal minus xt let's say we call it so the same thing will happen here it will be the negative of that so let's say minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so at t equals to 1 the amplitude is 2 so here in this case it will be minus 2 here also minus 2 then here it is minus 3 then at 4 it is so it will be like this okay 2 to 3 it is minus 2 to minus 3 this this and this okay so this is the uh, amplitude inverted signal just the mirror image of the original reference signal with respect to the horizontal axis the x axis okay